Hey y'all, what's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. So, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. As you see, I'm just moving everything, um, making room so I can put the couches inside the dining room so I can start taking all that stuff down and putting the wall and then begin to paint. Um, so my sister had already left back to Georgia, but she, um, she's coming back. I am mean, can't wait for her to get back here, girl. Come on. Cause she's coming to stay. And my husband was, unfortunately he had to work. So I was just ready to get this project done, especially because my birthday was coming up and I had to make sure the house was ready for the party and my new couches was coming. So honey, I had to get my life. Um, so yeah. So uh, as you see, this is the uh, the colors that my mother chose. Um, she back then she had um, she was getting the house ready for an uh, inside daycare. Um, so that's why the house was so colorful. <laughs> um, but we gotta we gotta brighten it up and, and 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 get get the house together. You know, this was her dream to really fix this house up. So I'm happy I can do that. So yeah, um, just go ahead and hope you guys enjoy this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and turn that notification bell on, honey, because there's more stuff to be coming. So I'm going to just stop talking and rambling and just let y'all see the process. This side is going to be white, but I patched that, you guys missed that, I patched that, that's why we wired the house, so yeah. Everything else, this is all, all this is going to be white over here, from there to all this, to the ceiling, so yeah, I'm going to put my little ghetto curtains back up, I ordered some from Amazon, because I didn't want to order curtains if I didn't know which, what color I was going to do or whatever, so yeah. So order some curtains and some curtain rods. So yeah. All right. See you guys tomorrow when I do the trim in here and in the other room. Okay. So I thought the ceilings were the hardest part to paint. No, it's the banisters. I hate the banisters. Like, bro, I've been at this for a long time. You gotta get in every nook and cranny, cranny, cranny. And it's annoying, look. <laughs> I don't wanna do it anymore. I don't, I don't wanna do it anymore. But anyways, I was just looking at the floors, right? Like I told y'all like the floors are a lot of work, right? But I'm looking at them and I think I should sand them down. And I, I think we were, at first we were gonna, um, that's my song. Um. At first, we were gonna just get new planks and put planks down. But as I'm looking at the floor, I think I wanna sand it like I did my bedroom and just stain it. Cause it's bad, but it's not that bad. So I think that's what I'm gonna try. <laughs> Leonard's gonna be mad when, I, when he comes home. I'm like, hey buddy, I got an idea. <laughs> but let me finish these banisters. Look at this paint. Like this is, a, this is what the banister is, okay? Let me finish this and then I'll come back. All right, guys. This is the process of us taking up the freaking sticky towels. We just have this little section left. Don't mind my little shoes. Just this little section. And then we gotta see how much paint we spilled, bro. That was Lenny. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. Um, yeah. So glad we're gonna this stupid stuff on because the floor is so sticky. I almost fell and bust my face. So yeah, I'm not gonna take any more videos. I'm gonna just take pictures from 
Now when I'm finishing this room, again, we're gonna put, take up the towels. We are gonna eventually sand and stain this floor. But for right now, we're just gonna uh, get all the towels up, get the sticky stuff up with that gooby gone. And then, or goof off, whatever the hell you call it. And then put down these cute rugs we bought because we're exhausted. And this is a whole nother project. I really wanted them done before my couches get here. But yeah, I'm over this project. I'm gonna at least take a break. Maybe at least a month or two break from this project. So we're just gonna get the stuff off and just get the gooey stuff off and then put the carpets down. So I'll show you when we're done with the carpets. The walls are finished, except for we have like touch up right there. But for the most part, the walls are finished. And the banisters, it's all really cute. All right, see you guys in a minute. So I wanted to show you guys how we were getting the tiles up. Um, my husband was scraping the tiles while I was taking the heat gun over it um, to kind of melt the adhesive, which that works so much better than us just trying to peel it up because it was a hot mess.com. So yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. Okay, before you guys say anything, yes, his shoes are off. Um, we tried everything to get the sticky stuff up, but unfortunately it didn't work. So we ended up going to Home Depot, getting a sander and sanding down the floor. That still did not work because my mom had years and years and years of tile on top of each other. And then over the time that adhesive was just too much. So we ended up getting two big area rugs or no, four big area rugs and putting them around the downstairs and then the exposed parts. Unfortunately, we put down more sticky tile. Was that the plan? No, but <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, right? So all in all, everything came out beautiful. Um, I did do some more changes um, as far as some of the accent um, furniture and things like that. Um, I will do another video of the complete project. Um, so you guys, thank you for watching this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on and I will see you guys later. As always, love, peace, and hair grease. Bye guys.